This is a game that AI wrote 100% of. In the next 25 minutes, I'm going to take you from zero to building your very first game. The AI is going to do all the heavy lifting. You just need to provide the vision. After six days of making the concept and plan perfect for you, I had run. I just sent the AI a screenshot and it fixed it right away. But here's the catch. If you try to build a complex game with random prompts, the AI gets confused and you hit a dead end. The solution is a system I call context engineering. It's a step-by-step -step blueprint that forces the AI to follow a strict plan so you never get stuck. I'm going to give you that entire system right now so you don't make my mistakes. I spent the last 7 days reverse engineering exactly why it fails, finding the specific loopholes where the AI loses context. Before we write any code we need two documents, a concept and a plan. The concept describes what we are building, every detail in plain English. You don't have to worry about the code anymore, that's done by the AI. English is now the programming language. Want different towers? Change the concept. The AI handles the code. You just need to describe clearly what you want. Let me show you what's possible. Chain lightning that arcs between enemies. Over 100 enemies running at 60 frames per second. Rectal physics orcs tumble when they die. Fireballs that arc through the air with realistic gravity. All described in the concept doc. Change a feature and the game will change. For example, instead of scary orcs, you want cute bunnies, so change one line in the concept. Now let me show you how to get the concept and plan. This is everything that you need to follow along. Go to GitHub, link in the description, and you will find the concept, the plan, and the full source code. In this demo, I'm using Claude Code. You need minimum a pro plan for that. But you can also use ChatGPT or Gemini, whatever works for you. To install Cloud Code, go to their website, link in the description. Open a terminal like I do here and paste the command for your operation system. Next, download Visual Studio Code from their website, link in the description. Once installed, open extensions, search Cloud Code and install it. All right, setup is done. Let's implement the game step-by-step step following the plan. So now we have the concept and the plan file. So the only thing what you have to do is to write the prompt, start implementing the plan. And Cloud Code will then do its magic and implement the plan for you. So once Cloud Code is done, the only thing what you have to do is to write PNP dev. And then your game will start. You will see an URL and this URL you have to copy into your browser and then just hit enter and well, black screen. Well, you see, that's how amazing it is to write code with AI. No, the only thing what you have to do is make a screenshot and then paste it in back into the AI and the AI will fix the issue for you. It will take some time, but then after some time, you will see we will have our game. We see our map. That was already step one and two of our plan. And now we can proceed with step three. So we just press enter, the AI does the magic, and here we are. The next step, what we are supposed to see is orcs, health bars, well, basically the orcs who will now enter the map. And here they are. Our apps beautifully enter the map. Those are our enemies. Let's see. What is this strange thing here? Probably it's a health bar. So we need to make a screenshot, tell the AI what is wrong, and hit enter. And the AI will do its magic and fix the issue. So let's try again and see what's happening. Yeah, I would say that looks fine and fixed. So let's continue with step three, the tower placement. Um, we let the AI do its job and, well, where are the towers? Well, I mean, maybe I can place them or I don't know how to place them. I have no idea. We will just tell the AI to figure it out. So again, what we do, we paste in the image and describe to the AI what is actually going wrong. 
The more precise you are, the better results you will get. So we describe it, hit enter, and let the AI do its magic. And let's see, here we are. The tower placement is working. Oh, I put some flower towers there, flame tower, ice tower, what else we got? I think we also got this electric tower, no, that's not it. Yeah, here we are, an electric lightning tower. So let's go on with step four. So now things are starting to get fun already. We will be able to see something die. We will have the enemies which come and then our towers will eliminate them. So let's place some towers and see what's happening. So our enemies are do coming and yes, they disappear. We don't have a nice um, dying animation as you can see. But well, all of our towers are pretty much working. They are attacking and the enemies do disappear. I'm pretty happy with that already. I mean, we did not write a single line of code and you can see already what is happening. So let's now continue with step five. That will be some fun animations. To see those quite quickly, we have to add many, many towers. This is very important. Maybe we speed it up a little bit. And once we've placed all of our towers, then we have those nice, that's not the really explosions, but some nice animations. And with that, we tested also with our other towers. We have the lightning towers. They're really splashing the animals. I like that. So let's get ready for step six. It's not like a big, amazing change. We will basically only see things in the console. It's the wave system. The idea is that the game gets harder and harder with every single wave and basically more fun. You get more enemies to kill. So now we don't have that much to see. You can only check here in the console that we are like starting the wave one and then you can be already happy and proceed with the next step. So in this step, we're gonna make the game really look like a game. We wanna look, we wanna add like some buttons, a mini map. Um, we wanna see how much gold we have, how much hearts we have, and which wave we are. So we will make it look nice. And here we are, everything is fine, but the mini map is off. We have to turn it and it has to navigate in the really right direction. So let's test that. We can move up, we can down. It's showing our towers on the mini map. Very nice. So now it's time to continue with step eight, the final polish. We will make the map look nice. Let's go. And here we are, uh, a night mode. Special, but not what we want. So probably want to ask the AI to change that. So that's what we do. We wait a little bit and fixed, not night anymore. We have nice trees now, even some stones. And well, let's proceed, see and check if everything is still working for us. And here we are. I would say that starts really looking like a game ready to sell. No, kidding. Well, for a start, I would say that's, that's, that's nice. There's one thing though, what I'm not so happy with, it's basically the health bars of the art. So we make a screenshot and tell the AI exactly what is the problem and it will fix it. Well, better, but not perfect. I think I would just remove this black thing and keep only the green stuff. Yes, much better. That's what I want. So let's proceed with our last step. So now the grand finale. We want to add the ultimate hyper killer boss. But there's one catch with this. The AI added us the boss, but it's interpreting the boss like how it's supposed to be. You kill like one, two, three, four waves, and then the boss comes. But we want to see it right away. So how we do handle a situation like that, pretty easy. You just tell the AI, add me a button so I can see the killer boss right away. Let's do it and then we see our killer boss. 
So we implemented this change and now we have this nice button, the spawn boss button. And here's our boss. As you can see, this guy has lots of lots of health. I have no idea how to kill that one. So if you excuse me, I have to figure out now how to do that. And if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give me a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next one. Ciao.